Welcome to Felt the Food. I'm Phoebe, the maker of the original DIY kit that allows you to begin making felt food today. Join me in the craft kitchen for today's make. Today in the craft kitchen, we are making a charcuterie board that you can take on the go. We are making oversized blocks of cheese. In your kit, you will find the pattern for three oversized blocks of cheese along with the coordinating thread. Using the thread shown, remove and cut roughly half of the thread. Carefully divide the thread so that you have only two strands. Here's a pro tip, go slowly and carefully. Untwist as you divide. Thread your needle by gently inserting the thread through the eye of the needle and pulling your thread through about halfway. In one hand, you will have your needle and in the other, you will have the longest end of your thread. Using your needle, take the strands and divide so that you have only one thread. Holding firmly, wrap all of the thread around three times. Hold on to the knot and pull it all the way until you get back to the end. When you release, you will have what is known as a quilter's knot. To begin your blanket stitch, you will insert through the back pattern. Now go through the top pattern and run your needle through to create that loop. This is going to be the start of your blanket stitch. I want you to put your needle down and watch again as I do this. Again, this is the start of your blanket stitch. Your next stitch will go through both pieces and before securing, you will go back through the loop. Feel free to put your needle down and watch as I do a few of these stitches. Repeat this process until all pieces are connected into a square. Please do not close this pattern without adding your fill. To secure the thread on the back of your pattern, you will want to use your needle to pick up a small amount of felt. In one hand, hold the loop and insert your needle, wrapping the thread around three times. Pull the thread through and you will notice you have made a secure knot. On your last stitch, make your final loop and before securing, hold onto the loop and wrap the needle around three times, going through the loop one final time to make a knot. Hold the knot to ensure the knot is as close to the pattern as possible. Feel free to put your needle down and watch as I do this. Insert your needle right next to your knot and go through your pattern to lose the thread. Carefully cut and fluff your pattern to remove any trace of loose thread. Congratulations, you have made oversized blocks of cheese. If you loved this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I can't wait to see what you make next.